wide. Hello everyone, I'm TG and I'm here to finally talk to you guys about Resident Evil Reverse. The long, long, long awaited multiplayer that came packaged with Village. Today, what I want to do is show you guys my girl Ada Wong and the build that I have been using with her. So I'm going to break down the coins I'm using, tell you why I'm using them, and I'm also going to show you a quick match that I played earlier, just so you can get a feel for how this thing works. Now, obviously, we are not seeing the complexity of a game like Resistance when it comes to builds, but there is still some customization. So let's take a look. So as it stands, this footage was actually recorded during the early access. So we only have access to level one coins. Obviously, we're going to get more in the future, but this is what I've been using and it's really, really been working well. First, I'm using the Dodge Recovery Booster and that's going to increase my stamina and recovery, which is very important for Ada because she's all about getting all over the map as fast as possible. I'm then using Pipe Bomb Arrow Damage Booster, which obviously increases the damage to my Pipe Bomb Arrows, which is very important. And then the Pio de Resistance, Crossbow Critical Booster and Crossbow Damage Booster, which are going to increase obviously the crit and the damage of the crossbow, which is your main weapon. Now, Ada's actually changed probably more than anyone else except perhaps Claire since the open beta because she used to be all about using the Broom HC as DPS. Now you might as well throw that thing away. It's all about the crossbow. It shoots so fast. It's super accurate. does a lot of damage. And I find myself most matches not even using the Broom HC. So a total 180. All that being said, what I'm using for my creature setup is the basic creature setup I use for everyone, which is Creature R1 Skill Booster, Creature Damage Dampener, and Creature Recharge Booster. I find this is really, really good synergy because the R1 Skill Booster is amazing as most of the DPS whenever you are using a creature is going to be from your R1 attack, and the Recharge Booster really does make a difference for getting that energy back. And where this is really going to matter is whenever you look at a bioweapon like Jack or like the Hunter Gamma, because Jack's a little spin, you're going to want to do that all the time to catch up to survivors. And the spit on the Hunter Gamma is probably the best move in the game right now when it comes to bioweapons, because you can just catch people from so far away and do it so often because it takes such a little amount of energy and it regens so fast with this coin that you can almost use it perpetually. So ladies and gents, that's the build. And what I love about it is the crossbow has infinite range. So you're going to be able to two shot people from across the map and you don't even need to use the headshot coin. You're going to get more out of the stamina. So sit back and enjoy a match I played earlier using this build and you can see it in action.